This is just box mix that I threw together because I don't know how to make my own cornbread. Hello my cuddle bugs, welcome back to my channel. Today we have an awesome collab. You know I am the queen of collabs, right? I love collabs, I love doing collabs. If you want to collab with me, comment below and I'll hit you up. Otherwise hit me on Instagram. Today's collab is with curly haired Christian girl and let me just show you what her channel looks like so you guys can go ahead and add her. Okay. And before I begin, I want to show you how to make this sweet potato chicken and kale chili, okay? So here's the recipe. Okay, for this recipe, you need sweet potatoes, onion, some kind of stock. Today we're going to use uh, caldo de tomate, tomato paste, some kind of canned tomatoes, some kind of bean, up to you, or no beans for people who don't like chili with beans, kale, and ground chicken. So, here we go. And of course your crock pot. All right, welcome back, you guys. Like I said, we're having a collab today with Curly Hair Christian Girl. She's so chill. She's so nice. Um, you guys definitely got to check her out. Her link is in the description. I meant to do this collab sooner, but I just kept forgetting. Don't blame me, you guys. So today I have Fuji Apple um, sparkling water. Nom, 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 nom. There we go. And like I said, this is chicken, sweet potato, and kale chili. Super healthy, super delicious, made with Rotel tomatoes. You guys have known I've been on this Rotel kick lately. Um, so yeah, Rotel tomatoes. Um, and these are honestly just ingredients that I found in my cupboard. And I was like, what am I going to do with kale and sweet potatoes that i got to use? <laughs> and this is what I came up with. I actually looked up a recipe online. But the recipes had things I didn't want in it. Um, so I just threw together what I thought would make a good chili, and this is my chili. And I had it yesterday for the first time, and it's amazing, okay? So like I said, this is a collab with Curly Head Christian Girl. Check her out. Link is in the description. She's very fun. She has about 700 subscribers, plus some now, and you guys should totally go over to her channel and say, Anna Marie sent me, and subscribe to her. Let's try this chili. Mm -hmm. You guys, the ingredients might seem weird to some of y'all, 
but they're really not. Like, it tastes like regular chili. Right, when I first started talking to her about the collab, she said, we should do chili. Sorry, we, she said, we should do chili beans. And me as a northerner and like a plain old white girl, I guess. I said, well, do you mean like actual like chili beans where you make beans that are flavored like chili, like spicy? Or do you mean like chili? And I showed her a picture of chili. So I knew what she was talking about because depending on where you are, she's actually not even southern. I'm pretty sure she's in California. I, I remember where you were from. I, just, I can't remember. Anyway, depending on where you are in the world, you name things differently. So this is chili. She says she don't like chili with beans. Or wait, does she say she likes chili with beans? Some people don't like chili with beans. I'm a northern girl. I'm from Wisconsin. We put ch beans in every sort of chili that we have. At least from where I'm from, in my city. I've never seen chili without beans. Look at that. The sweet potato, you can see the kale, the beans, the chicken. It's just ground chicken, you guys. Mm. Let's get in this cornbread. Oh, it's falling apart. I love me some cornbread. This is just box mix that I threw together because I don't know how to make my own cornbread. Oh, that's absolutely amazing, Leia. Mm. So four minutes and you guys are probably wondering, well, Anna, don't you normally have a topic when you collab? I sure do. Let me tell you. All right, let me stop. Today's subject is, um, Touchy for some people. For some people, it's not touchy. It's a way of life. I will tell you, if you don't like what I'm talking about, just exit. Okay? If you do, subscribe. Oh, yeah, drink. So today I'm telling you guys about the time that I could have easily died. There's actually been several times in my life that I could have easily died. But this is one that I really remember. It is the reason that I believe in the Lord Jesus God above. Okay? So, when I was in college, some of you guys knew this already that I was a party girl. I was in a sorority. I did. I hung out with everybody, you know? And that included, like, the local kind of, like, hick people, like. I don't know how to call them. They were more country to me. Very like the terminology that we use from where I'm from for these kind of country people are hick people. So that's not offensive to in my brain. If it is to you, I'm so sorry. But this is what I'm gonna refer to them. If you don't like it, her bye. Okay. So my my hick friends. Mind you, I hung out with jocks. I hung out with frat boys. Sorority girls, everybody. I like everybody, okay? We decided to go on, like, a car cruise. Like, so we always cruised in cars. So I always fun, hung out with a lot of people that, like, were car people. They had nice cars, like Evos, um, Supras. Okay. So then the car people, I dated a car guy, we hung out with the truck guys. There's a Totally different classification, and the hick guys were the truck guys. Okay, so they drove these big old trucks, trucks big enough that you'd think they're a little thing small because they're gonna make up for something, right? I really don't know if that's true because I've never seen that. So, <laughs> do you see him? Okay, right. I was hanging out with some of my hick friends in the trucks. And we decided to go drive out to a junkyard and get a mirror for my car. Because at the time I had a Mitsubishi Eclipse second gen. And um, story. Go ahead. 
And um, what happened is my sister and my ex were dicking around and broke my mirror off my car. Okay? So I had to go to the junkyard with the guys to get a new mirror for my car. Or salvage yard, whatever, you guys. You can purchase them real cheap. Anyway, me and this girl, well, I called Jay. We're sitting in the truck and we were talking about how she, like, has Lyme's disease and she gets seizures and stuff like that. And the guys come back and they have the mirror. Because my I just let my ex and, and the guy, the guy, we'll call him C. So after we got my mirror, we decided to go cruising. And so we were just driving around the city. We drove all the way to Rochester, Minnesota from Winona, Minnesota. It was about 45 minutes. We came back. And then we decided we weren't done. We weren't tired. We weren't drinking or under the influence of anything. We were just having fun. So this fun kind of turned scary for me. Actually, for all of us. Like, we should legit die. So, see, me and Jay were in the back, like, in a little section of the truck like this. And C and my ex were here. Driver and passenger. C was the driver. He decided... That it was a smart idea to go flying around a 90 degree turn. And he decided to speed up because he's like, watch this, you guys. Like, and so there's a, if you guys don't know what a 90 degree turn is, that means it's like this. Okay. If you're a truck that's traveling this way and you need to go 90 degrees, that doesn't happen very easily. This is so good. So what happened next was the scariest moment in my life in a car, in a truck, sorry. He turned that 90 degrees and the freaking vehicle kind of went like this. And so these are the, the, the driver's side wheels here, okay? Passenger side wheels, driver's side wheels. He went like this. We were literally almost, gosh, what is this angle like this? So that's the angle. That's how our tires were. We are literally to the point where we should have, like, flipped. And if we had flipped, there is a big old, what is it called? There was a big old bluff waiting to take us down. So this bluff didn't have guardrails. We don't know why, okay? But I don't think they expected anybody knowing that there's a bluff there to come 90 degrees and fucking almost roll their car. And so we legit, have you ever been like inside of a box and you're like kind of or like on a chair and you're tipping to the sides to see how far can you go to balance without actually falling this was the this was the vehicle okay so it was kind of like tipping tipping and like what kind of went this way and it kind of went back and then it went this way again like we were I, I could see I was here on this side of the driver's side I was looking down the bluff scared out of my damn mind my my life was flashing before me literally you guys Jay was holding on to me because she we didn't know what to do. And so we all started screaming to lean the other way. So us this way, we started leaning this way, thinking, you know, our 500 pounds or whatever we are can combat a 2,000-pound uh, vehicle. I don't know what happened because we were about to go down that bluff. But we got pulled back by some force that was more than just the damn car, okay? It's like angels were pulling our car back. We literally, the physics of it all, we should have went down that cliff or the bluff and we should, we would probably be dead, you guys, because at the bottom of the bluff is a river. You would hit every single damn tree down there, if not split in half the speed we were going, and we didn't die, you guys. Literally, the scariest moment in my dang life. So once we got flipped back normal, we just stopped. We all stared at each other. We're like, what the hell? How is it possible that we didn't fall on the bluff? How is it possible? And that's the day that I knew somebody was watching over me. That's the day I knew that God and the angels were trying to save us. Who saved us? Okay? That was the first experience that I had that made me question my faith, my humanity, everything about my life. That's the day that... I think God found me. (coughs) 
So after that, things just kept happening. Like, gosh, I would get drunk at these parties and I'd be nervous because like I have anxiety, right? So if I was drinking too much or I thought I was drinking too much, I'd say, God, please, please, you know, help me get home safe. Help me do this, save this, save this, safe, you know, because a lot of roofing happened at my college. A lot of gang rape happened at my college. All these things happened at my college. And the worst thing that ever happened to me is sexual harassment. So, and that's not fun either, but still, um, I know God has me. I knew he had me. And so when I took a year off of college, well, it was supposed to be a year, turned into four. Yeah, four years. I started dating this guy. And he asked me if I wanted to study, like, the Bible. Because I told him about all these experiences I was having. And he wasn't, like, super strictly religious or anything. But he was like, just, hey, I have this Bible. You want to look at it? He said, I have these movies. Do you want to look at them? I said, sure. And after studying, like, I studied about Buddhism. I studied about, like, um, Muslim religion. I studied about Catholicism. I studied about Christian is, or Christian um, following. Um, I, uh, I chose Wealth Luther. Wells Lutheran, and I was baptized in 2012 as a Wells Lutheran. I remember my baptism. Um, not a lot of people can say that. And I was baptized purely by choice. Now, I did not get Colton baptized because I feel like he should choose what he wants to be, too. What he believes in. I got to choose. You know, let him choose as well. Hopefully he's an atheist, but I can't see him being atheist. So yeah, I just wanted to talk about that experience. And how I started believing in God. Now, I told Christian, probably had Christian girl. I'm not strictly religious either, obviously. I mean, I drank brain beer, <laughs> but I'm a person that doesn't think you have to go to church to be forgiven for your sins. I pray at home. I pray before I go to bed and I pray in the car. Sorry, I'm wiping the crumbs out of my boobs. And I don't think you have to be a Bible banger, I call them, or go to church every Sunday or do this and that to be loved by God and forgiven. Like I said in one of my videos. My grandma was atheist all her life. She did not study religion, but at the end of her life, she decided that she was going to ask God for forgiveness. And I believe 100% that she got in heaven. Because she comes back and bothers me. I don't think somebody in hell will come back and bother me in a good way. You know what I mean? I know it just seemed like she's happy. I get this vibe, you know? And I know this might not get a lot of views because I'm talking about religion, but you know what? I chose my own religion. And I also respect the wishes of other people in different religions. For instance, the guy I talked to, who I've talked to on and off for the last four years, he's Muslim. He's from a Muslim country in Africa. And I have no problem with that because he respects my beliefs and I respect his beliefs. Whatever he wants to believe, that's his choice of what he gets to believe in because in the end, we all die alone. How he gets saved in his religion versus how I get saved in my religion. Totally different. But we're each individuals and we should respect each other for that. Now, my entire family is not religious, okay? Nobody in my family. So everybody is very, very against religion. However, for me, I know there's something out there. I know something saved me that night when I should have fallen down that bluff with those other guys or a girl. I know there's things out there that have been protecting me and my son. Why else would I still be here? <laughs> but yeah, so yeah. 
that's pretty much the story I wanted to tell you. I really thank you guys for coming back to my channel, checking me out. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to me and to Curly Hair Christian Girl. Let her know that Anna sent you. And you guys, I hope you like this video. And have a good day.